Movie wasn't the only thing trending yesterday. Twitter user Danielle Moscato decided to pose a hypothetical question to her followers, and it instantly went viral. Danielle tweeted, ladies, a question for you. What would you do if all men had a 9 p.m. curfew? Hmm. Dudes, read the replies and pay attention. Well, her replies were extremely powerful. For example, Emma Smart said she could go for a walk in the dark without leaping out of my skin at little noises. Just thinking about going somewhere alone without anxiety seems like a dream. Is this how guys feel all the time? User MCG said she'd enjoy running with headphones, music as loud as I want on a trail with dense trees if I so choose without getting a little panicky every time I'm alone on a stretch with a guy who's behind me. And Braun Wynn Harris said, public transit. I'd take all the public yeah. transit. Yeah. Yeah. So ladies, can you relate to these tweets? Absolutely. You know, I noticed, yeah, Unfortunately. right? When we read, when you read this, Adrian, I noticed kind of a, a, a hum go over the audience because I think you ladies actually started to process like, oh my God, we, we never thought about that. How would you it change your life? I had to give it a second because I didn't realize that when it comes to late night, I go grocery shopping like 10 o'clock at night at Ralph's sometimes. And I actually have to think about how I dress because when I come from home, I'm wearing, you know, comfortable booty shorts, maybe a camisole because I'm, you know, it's summer in LA and stuff. But then when I go out, I actually do have to cover up baggy sweats, everything, because you don't even realize it, but you will invite cat calls and things like that if you dress a certain way late, late at night. But it bothers me because as women, we shouldn't have to worry about the way we dress when they need to learn about how to control themselves. So that was one thing that came to me in my everyday life. I don't care if the man <laughs> is on the street. I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. Boom. I don't, you can, you can have a curfew, you can be outside. I'm gonna do what I wanna do because I'm a woman. And I think that, I understand that this is a fantasy, but if you reversed it and said if women had a curfew, so we'd sexist. have a problem with it. We need to learn how to get along. Men and women are gonna have to learn how to get along. And what I like about this whole Me Too movement, the Time's Up, is that it is forcing us to have conversations and we are going to have to learn how to get along. That you can have rights if you wanna wear your booty shorts <laughs> and nobody touch you, you wear your booty shorts and nobody touches yeah. you. And that you That's also it. shouldn't have a prejudgment that just exactly. because he's a man walking behind you, he's here to kill you. I'm sorry, there are some women that are killers too. You never seen that show Exactly. Snapped? I'm just saying, yeah, like, so like, let's keep it even. There are just as many women that do not very nice things as there are men. So I think I have a hard time because I just imagine that, God, you know, God forbid one day I have a son and just because he's a man walking behind a woman, she's here fearing for her life. Like, I, I pray that the future allows us to view people in a better way. And yes. I pray that we're a part of that change. But, like, I, just because he's a man, I get it if he's doing something that seems off, seems wrong, but just based off of the fact that he's a man, you're afraid for your life, I, I have a hard time with that. Yeah, I, I just hate the conversation like this. I hear, I hear you what know? you're saying, but the reality is, you have to be careful, because I know when I was growing up in San Francisco, I absolutely couldn't go walking through the tenderloin late at night by myself, absolutely not. Um, you have to, you do have to care. There's reasons why I have mace and things like that. There's reasons why I, when I pull up, I have to park valet, because late because after the club, man. I don't want, because I just don't want to, I've, I've been assaulted a few times by a man. I've never been assaulted by a woman. So this oh. is my experience. Got it. That, and so what I see, yeah. I'm just being smart. I don't need to walk out, you know, at 1 a.m. in a mini skirt that Ooh, I comfortably am wearing. The 90s in New York City, there was girls, yeah. there was literally a girl gang that was walking around when I was in junior high school that was slashing girls' faces with box cutters. Oh, and, and that was goodness. to initiate them into their girl gang. So I had the opposite situation. I grew up, you know, taking the train in New York City and being like, I have to watch out because girls are out here trying to slice my face. <laughs> no, but so, so that's why I have just a different sure. perspective well, and, where it's men and women.